Hi guys. Hello people. I'm Elena. I'm Lola. And we're watching The Expanse. Uh, episode f- five. Five. Episode five. We are halfway to they? season four. Yeah, there's ten, right, in this season. Yes. Horrible. I think Awful. ten, ten, and then six. Ten, ten, and then six. Oh my god. Did you read the comments under our uh, I did reaction? not. Okay, let me tell you. Uh, episode <laughs> tell me. Episode seven to nine. Uh, to, uh, season seven to nine. Season seven. Book, Book seven. seven to nine. to nine. Oh no, wait. I read the first comment, which was that. Uh, it's about our characters. It is about And some character. additional yeah. characters, I think they yeah. said. Yeah. As long as Bobby's there, I know I'm gonna Bob, read the books. No one said Bobby... which of our characters are left alive by the end, but I'm sure Bobby's left alive. Yeah, imagine not. I would be shocked, honestly. No, no, Bobby survives this. Yeah, hundred percent. I actually Both can't Bobby really, and I really Amos can't and tell even... you who dies. Like James is the most, let's say, likely for me to die, but even he's not likely that much at this point. Uh, honestly, James. From our from our crew, in my in my my uh, mind, only James or Alex could die. I mean, yeah, I agree completely. Like Naomi's not gonna die. I agree. Uh, and Amos hundred percent is not gonna die. You fucking bird. <laughs> Bobby's not gonna die. Uh, that's not our crew, but like still our baby. And we have um, Christian. Christian, who honestly I don't. Think I mean, he's look, gonna... in thirty years she's that of old age, and good for you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do you not understand that they live 150 years down on Earth? That is very true. She's alive and well. No, that's so happy. Like, I'm happy for you, Christian, but that pisses me off. Like, belters get like 60 true. years and true. they get 150. True. True. Not be- Does that mean that James is gonna live? Oh my god, we're gonna die! <laughs> much longer than Naomi. Oh my god, Naomi, girl! That being said. Okay, let's not think about it too much. Yeah, why are okay, we let's not think about it deep too way, much. Deep okay, I do. What about Martians? <laughs> How long do Martians live, you know? 250. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna. Because people have been mentioning, because there are three books that are not adapted yet. Like are they gonna are they gonna be adapted? I really wonder. Uh, somebody, uh, <laughs> yeah. Somebody commented that uh, the writer wanted to make a break because there is like that three thirty year pause, but like he always wanted has to in continue. mind that he would like to continue to finish the well, story. Well, I mean that would be great. Yeah, and uh, and I feel uh, like, like Amazon would give them the yeah, slot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they initially the writers of the books initially wanted to writers. A writer of the of, of book uh, initially wanted to have 12 books. Oh. And but uh, she or he, I'm not sure. Uh, they I think it's a he. Uh, but he thought that like th- uh, those three books of those 30 years mm-hmm. that he skipped were boring. Like he didn't have an, much story for those oh. 30 years, those three books. Oh. So he was like, I'm gonna just uh, skip skip those 30 years and go right well, I, like I wonder story. what happened that he needed to skip 30 years to have a more interesting story. You know, mm-hmm. like quite 30 years. Uh, we'll see. Maybe like maybe maybe now that we when we finish the show, maybe for our sakes, oh, they just that. like suddenly announce That'd new season good. that'd be good or something like that that'd be great i think you should have us in mind because like but we are a bit late i'm just sad that it's like nine books like i have like it's a lot i have read a book series of nine yeah books. but like a one i was in high school though. exactly yeah, yeah. you had nothing else to do you know true. very true and like right don't now... tell everyone i was a loser <laughs> <laughs> and right now like starting a series of nine books Mm. We're not gonna finish. It's dashing so. people. I don't know but, like, who I, I lie was lie. in high school. Like I read monthly eight books. I swear to God, mm. I don't know who I was. But, now, if I can manage one book in six months, that's good for me. Yeah, and uh, but honestly, I would like to read them. Same. Because I just I adore like, the story. I mm. adore the characters. And if Bobby, Amos, and Christian are as good in books as they are in show. Mm-hmm. I have to. I have to. Know. Mm. I have to read it. How are you gonna finish? The I'm gonna first skip book? the rest of the characters here. How are you gonna finish the first book that doesn't have Christian or I guess Bobby? At least I have Amos, you know. <laughs> Where was <we left> all <laughs> in the previous episode? Well, it was a lot, honestly. Amos um, was naked half of the episode. <laughs> I would like to personally think I was in charge <laughs> of making this show. <laughs> okay, Amos, baby boy, like he was trapped. He was beaten. Yeah, he was. But James is coming to get you out, and it's gonna be fine. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen in the 
I'm just interested camp. to know what James is gonna do. Like, hello, oh, I'm in James charge. James came, said, well, he said you're not in charge anymore. Punched him, went, and I don't know what he's gonna... Honestly, I'm a bit surprised that he you. punched him. No, that's what I'm saying. I, I think how... James. I think James is at a point, like, with everything that has happened yeah. and with him hearing Miller, it is all just, like, bottled up. It's too much. And James is like, oh, my God. Just, like, I have, it, I have had enough. Yeah. I can't, but like James is fucking hilarious. If anyone asked me in the previous episode, calling him and be like, "Don't touch Naomi." Oh, uh, so the medic is with Naomi. <laughs> Let's go to <laughs> Razorback. No, to Razorback. Razorback. Uh, Rasnante. Rasnante. That was the funniest fucking thing, James boy. Like what You're a dumb the move. Best, honestly, but like, oh what my a God, fucking boy. dumb move. That was like I. Naomi. 20. Naomi was literally at risk. For her life because of you. Like yeah. nobody will look for you for her. I don't know what's gonna happen in the camp now. I'm very I'm very curious to see. I think the team up between James and Damo is gonna be brilliant because like if things need to be done, they're gonna get done. Okay? But we'll see. We'll see how that the whole thing goes because like people have been killed, shot. Those people I'm I'm assuming have family that might be very um mad that this is happening. You know, it's gonna be a problem as it always is. And uh, also the planet is gonna kill us, I think, if we don't get off of it. Because, like, I feel like all those little, like... Things. Yeah. yeah, Are just, like, gonna start coming up. Like, yes, James shot at one. Good for you, boy. It stopped. But, like... Stop for a second. More are gonna gonna start popping up. And, like, we're gonna die. So I feel like we need to evacuate people from this planet. I agree. We also had one of the like more interesting parts, one of the more interesting storylines, I think, is gonna be with... Oh, his name is Marcus, right? Marco. Marco? Marco. I think it was uh, like that whole scene with, uh, with him and like being introduced to him. Uh, I thought it was very interesting uh, and it's gonna be a big problem because of the way that he is. And I really want to see how that storyline progresses with Drummer and Ashford and him. Yeah, I think that's, that's great. That was also one I heard. Yeah, I, I adore Ashford and uh, Drummer. Yeah working together mm-hmm. i i think they're so good uh, and that's the thing about their duo is that like i do see it, uh, every single time each point of view like mm-hmm. both ashford ashford and uh drummers i mean i agree sometimes with one more than the other but like i think just because they have you uh, often different opinions i think that that complement yeah. complements each other uh, in such a good way for yeah. leadership. And I think both of their hearts are always in the right place. We also have Christian, who is in the middle of a um, re-election season, whatever. She has leaked the information about the girl, Ni- Naomi. Mm-mm. What is her name? I don't know, but I doubt it's Naomi. I Nadia? Really... It's not Nadia, no. but like it's something I really, I really think you'd <laughs> mistaken now. Why could we not? We have two Naomi. No, there is no two Naomi's in the whole room. I like. I this want, is my first I time need, hearing name now in Naomi, and now it like we I have two need more show. One show. Yeah, I agree. To be realistic yeah. and have people be named the same, because like there are some names that are so common that like. Like, you can't tell me there are not, like, 50 Jessicas or something. <laughs> like, not in this show, but, like, in general, okay? Like, it's just a... It's or just Anna a thing. Or something like that. Yeah. Like, some names are uh, just I'm common. not sure which exactly names are most popular in, like, using Honestly, in America. Because here, like, you would have some very common names, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm blanking. I feel like... I, like, I, I want to say Jessica, but, like, Jessica's, old, like, not now, maybe. Emily? Is Emily? Emily? Common name? I don't know. I don't know. Sounds common. Peter is Peter common name. It sounds common. I have no I, idea. I'm, I'm sure Will is a common name. Yeah, Will, Will has to be. Yeah. Bill, John. John. Well, yes, John, John is definitely. John is definitely a common name. So where is John here? <laughs> we know? have zero Johns <laughs> in this show. Um, what the fuck is this intro? I don't know. Let us move on. We haven't had Christian in the last episode, so I, I expect her to be in this. I mean, uh, not we the, had her. Yeah, but yeah, but like uh, we haven't had any storyline with her uh, in regards uh, to the election. Uh, election yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, it's gonna backfire. It's gonna backfire, and she's gonna lose the lead that she has, but we'll see if she has lost the war or if she has just lost the battle. Basically, that's where we're at. No. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> We just have to mention. I don't know her. how I forgot. Nothing no, much this is happening. important. Actually, it is. It is. She has her own storyline. She is now going to do something. Bad. 
But like, is she gonna? But like, like bad for who? Try try to do something good in the meantime. I think so. Yeah. I, I don't, don't know. know you know, I feel like that. there is a point when world just crashes you. Yes, then if you're you, anyone you else, go but not with Bobby. Bad. But like, yeah, with Bobby, that does not really. That make doesn't sense. seem like that would happen. You know what I mean? Uh, Maybe because she's a marine and she grew up with that opinion to always try to do the right thing. It's so ingrained into her. Yeah, but like honestly. If it was me, well, yes. I feel like me. if I tried fifteen times to do something good and to uh, correct my mistakes, and everybody's trying to use that for in their own benefit, I'd be like, okay, let's let me have some money or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm not there actually. What type of a job mm. now that sh- that the guy gave her? That's gonna be interesting to see. Um, and that's kind of it. A lot of storylines happening. I think those two storylines are going to connect with Mar- th- that Marco. That storyline is going to connect to Marco's storyline. Well, yes, because yeah. like they did give the we- whatever it was. To it's OPA. not weapons, but like whatever. Something to OPA. To OPA, to terrorists, which is like, I'm sure, Marco's. Yeah, 100%. And then when she finds out what's happening, go to Christian. I know what Christian's going to do. It's not her place, like, to meddle, you know? But... Well, I mean, this is politics. Exactly. Christian's going to be like, this is the thing that realizes me. And, and then Bobby wins. works for her because she b- brought her that thing. Well, yes, yeah, but she, is, uh, like, it's not like she needed to bring her something so that Christian would want her to work with her. I know, I know. So, like, know. Bobby yeah. has to choose to work with her and we'll see if well, she Well, she is... Honestly, I think if Christian now offers, she would go. Because... I think now she is even more broken than before. I don't want her going to Christian just because she is so worn down by the world. She's like, okay, might as well. You know, I don't want I that. I think she wants, I think she wants to, but like Christian is working for earth government. I don't think she wants to do that. Like, Well, I mean, she has her people. Yeah. And uh, those people don't like her and support her and appreciate her. Not nearly enough as I would. Want them to. I didn't oh, I say you would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's watch. Oh, let's watch. Beautiful. It's powerful stuff. Oh, how they, they blew it up. Work? I wired it myself. It would work. Oh, girl. She even hated to break it to you. <laughs> Literally. Like, I mean, they said they didn't plan Did you know? for Did this to happen. Oh, then I was early. Oh, dear. We have to remove the charge. The drive will set it off. Then it does. And it's not mm. now. Okay. Before Give them a chance to pull up. Okay. Oh, oh, they wanted to blow it up before they I came. Okay. 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 <gasps> I mean, she's. Fine. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, then I, uh, I'm kind of fine with her now. Yeah, yeah. She definitely didn't want this to happen, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like. Well, uh, boys. You know, you said you got it, they got it coming, and now you're also dead, so like... Oh, well, she technically saved some of their lives then, if she blew it up before. Mm. Mm. Girl, I'm definitely fine with you. You got some deep tissue damage, just the kind of thing that doesn't do too well in zero G, so... Does Alex... Is he a doctor? <laughs> like, did he just learn because he has to? I think he just learned because he has to. Oh, she has such a pretty smile. Holden will take care of it. That's right. Holden's not gonna let anything happen to him, I promise. The fate they have in Holden. I mean, understandable. Well deserved. <laughs> He'll literally save them all millions of Well to deserved. Fight. Also, Amos is there as well. <laughs> this place are tight. Yeah, Amos is like, I like that. They had this real corn with garlic butter, you know? He wants to kill himself. Yeah, with garlic butter, and they had. Mason's an idiot. What about Murtry? Is he an idiot? Mmm, that's right, tell her. You know, in a different context, this could be kind of fun. Nope. Get away from him. He's tied up not yet by his own will. I think this is <laughs> right now. Maybe. Why not? In here! Shit! Holden sounds done. <laughs> hey, what's the fuck? Where the fuck are you? Poor oh people. God. I mean, of course. Murtry is fucking going and shooting. Uh, how do you live with yourself when ki- children are being are hiding from you? Oh fuck your chief Murtry. That's fucking right, my boy. Unlock <laughs> him. Not gonna happen. Put the gun down. Fuck off. Don't 
Kill her. She just hasn't figured out her boss is a dick. You see how then? Give me the key and walk away. Jeez, what does she need to figure out that her boss is a piece of shit? Come home. You left before we could finish up. Oh, she about to fucking shoot. Cut him loose. Do it now. We don't have time for your vendetta. Vendetta. The artifacts on this planet are waking up. We need to get everyone off the surface before something even worse shows up. You say we need to evacuate? Yes, immediately. Mm-hmm. Wanna keep your people safe? And so do I. He'll only help as long as evacuating the Belchers is easier than shooting them. I oh, know. You people act like I'm a bad guy. Mm. I came on a peaceful mission mm. to squat us through first blood. And you use it to justify murder. Mm. It's terrorists who killed innocent people and were planning further acts of violence. But I'm the bad guy. Mm -hmm. You and your friend here assault me and my people. But I'm the bad guy. Yep. Maybe I'll just go that kind of face. I'll make sure you get to tell your story in court. A murder trial. Well, exactly what I want. That's fine. Honestly, I want that That's more than him fine. died. Hundred, hundred times more. I agree. Everyone fucking answer. I'm good with that. Only if the Belters need to. The Belters are gonna be tough to leave. Real, you and I better be the last two people on their shuttles. Obviously. Take the secondary one. Disable the safeties. Rig it up for remote piloting. What? Put it on a proximity trailer. You want me to make it into a bomb? I want you to make it into an option. Who follows these orders? What the fuck is wrong with everyone? RC said the Edward Israel was the only ship recording it. Good. I run these kept under wraps. James Holden and a bunch of Belters are fucking up our first exploration of an alien war. <laughs> but yes, let's talk about the great ship. I love her doing James Holden's fucking. <laughs> we need you to come off as more approachable. Nurturing. The caring family makes sure. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like nurturing. Like, what do you oh, mean? What? Approachable. Get, get the fuck out. Nobody <laughs> touch me. It's an election debate. They just want you to play the game. They're so cute, in my opinion. Mm. You and that are I think she has more anymore. chemistry with this actor, actually. Why? Yeah, she can hear it, bro. For who? Where is my tongue? <laughs> You know what happened then? I'm sorry, I haven't seen her. There was a massive machine in the desert. That you know, they might not believe you. We know. The RC scientists told us. And now DNAs are going back to orbit. Fine. Let them. This settlement and everyone in it would be dead. You're not only because a torpedo from my ship was able to kill it, but the next thing could be a lot worse, and there will be a next thing. You have no way of knowing that. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. We need to get everyone off the planet. But if we leave, they'll never let us come back. You go if you want to. You'll not be alive to come back. I mean, if you stay, you're just they, gonna die. Yeah, but if they go, they have no. No, I mean, they to have go. yeah, no, and they have no faith in them, and I get it. And this is very yeah. hard now. I don't know how you would yeah, convince them. Like if that thing starts appearing in a distance, what just so they can see it, and well, if they will have ship. enough time to get on the ships and go. A ship that's rigged for it to be a bomb, you know. This is a lot. You might want to get that checked out. Squatter camp hygiene makes all sorts of nasty infections. Just ditches. Dr. Okoye. Is Drummer gonna call her and be like, guess who I saw? Baby girl. Uh, she's I love to see her happy. I it makes me happy. It gives me joy. Is it Drummer? This is Faya Sarkis on Edward Israel. I want to talk to my wife. Where is she? Why did you go? And they'll transfer you over. Where is it? Doing? I don't know where the daughter is. She might have just like. I wouldn't be surprised if Mercy captured uh, their daughter too. Maybe. Maybe just the daughter she's safe. escaped. So she's not with you. Because the daughter wanted what? to go Who? do Fancy. other things. Our daughter! Tell me you know where she is! You were part of that. They were just trying to put them off. Slow them down until we could get a load of oil out. Get the money higher, a lawyer, mm. maybe. No one was supposed to get hurt. But then it looks, yeah. I did this for us. All of us. Someone had to be strong. Then I wasn't. I wasn't strong enough. Because I didn't want to bring the killing to this planet. I hope that it's not being done. Stop. They don't get to tell me when to stop. You ran away. He's making a fair point. My daughter is missing. You can't let them make us leave. 
Mm. We have nowhere else to go. You have to fight. But you're gonna die. Jacob, you have to fight. If we did all that, and it doesn't even matter, you have to stay. It's not gonna matter when you die. All these terrible things you've done, they didn't save us. All they did was destroy the only thing we had left. Call him. Call him. Girl, let's not die. To sweetheart, what the fuck do you want? Makes sense. Mm -hmm. You! <laughs> Leave him alone. Nobody cares. Leave this him alone. Right Honestly. I don't care. He's gonna start crying. Really? <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? Uh, at some point, James became the most hilarious person in the show. <laughs> yeah. I don't know when that happened, but he is so funny. You are connected to this, and you are withholding information. You're gonna call him insane if he tells you. I won't even know where to begin. Oh, for fuck's sake. What are those gunshots? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Let them go right now! Fuck these assholes! Just shoot them! And when you do that, does you want you to see the Esau of his head? Don't make me ask again. He shot at the ground. What the hell happened? Fucking belters grabbed two of my people. Oh, they're fucking belters. Half a dozen more are armed and in cover outside. Looks like they're just holding ground. Our people have been locked in dead corners by complex soldiers. They have been executed without trial. And now we are being ordered to evacuate. We won't stop anyone else from leaving. They can go in peace. But we will not be forced from our homes again. Honestly, what the fuck do you do? Have a good time. Do enjoy the clarity of these moments. It's just a comedy show. Now you see what I've been working with. Professional he needs to fucking stop classes. talking. He needs to stop professional victims. The bombs that they've thrown the bodies they've stacked up. But I am going to gas every belter in the camp. Anyone I find with a gun is going to be disarmed and restrained. And the rest will be kept stated until they can be taken up to their ship and sent on their way. Look at the queen. This is gonna be not good, I think. Oh my god, look at her. I would not be able to just sit next to her and fight against her. Imagine. That's a very good question. The existence of alien life gives us, all of us, unimaginable opportunities and i think the real danger of eros is that we only react to it from fear what we need now is leadership that can embrace the possibilities while managing the risks i mean that sounds good but like how exactly do you plan on doing that i was in this situation room during the eros incident and as i recall the real danger was that it was about to kill everyone on earth i helped avert that disaster and afterward, I brought to justice the men who weaponized the proto-molecule. You ask how I would protect Earth from another Earth incident? That's a good question. And here is my answer. The same way I did last time. <laughs> I'm a medical technician, and I believe healthcare infrastructure is underfunded when it comes to dealing with the undocumented population. Mm. Mercury's waiting until he has a plan for That's actually a good question. I'll use the answer. I'm like, I'm watching the debate. I'll do this very interesting, actually. The Mercury force in the now is the answer. You know, I don't want to do this at gunpoint, but I have to do something. Mercury has no right making them leave, and neither do you. If they die here, it's on me. And it's on the Inners for fighting over Ganymede. 
and Jules Pierre Mal for his experiments, and Avicerola for sending us, and some aliens for creating the proto molecule and shooting it at Earth. And it's on the Beltis too. For coming here. For staying after you warned them. For taking hostages now. They're not children. Sure. They have no idea what's really going on here. Don't decide for them. Tell them the truth and let them decide for themselves. God, I need like you know, seven I Naomi's. Like She's okay. very he's very cute. Liz, yeah. Hey, I don't know she if you're dead. hungry or nothing, but um I had to find myself a meaty little broth. He's a chef, he's a medic, he's <laughs> a <laughs> pilot, <laughs> a man of many talents. <laughs> And he's a nice person. He's a sweetheart. And he adores Amos. As he should. <laughs> yeah, alright, I'm not trying to intrude upon you or nothing. I just she's thought dead. you might enjoy she's it. She's dead, yeah. I think she's dead. Naomi! I don't know. Okay. Oh, she's not on. She shut down. Honestly, I thought she was gonna die. It's fine. What is he doing? Oh, God. He's a professional medic! <laughs> He's a surgeon. He has to have sorry, gone sorry, to sorry, fucking sorry, med school for this. What? He's a surgeon. What? Can someone tell me did he go to medical school and I forgot that information? Shit, well he's not allowed to do that. Tell me what to do. Help me. He's asking her. Yeah, well she's He's can. asking. This is a horrible situation. Make me tell your daughter I had to let you die. Fucking tell me what to do. Such. Honestly, that's what I would do first. Oh. Sorry. Oh, don't. Sorry. Don't ask Honestly, this is a horrible scene. I can't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know. Got it. <laughs> Somebody hug her. Thank you. Nice working on the same side for once. Fuck that. I'm not guessing anyway. In Mercury's words, I just don't want to see you get shot over this. Is that some care boy? What is this? Come on! Oh shit. What's he doing? Inhale. <laughs> a boy. What do you want? I want to talk. I was hoping we're not gonna see this because I feel like it's gonna be bad. See, this now gonna be. Um, I want to ask the candidates what can be done to offer more opportunity to those on basic assistance. There is no law or policy so well made that a culture of shortcuts, preferential treatment, and corruption cannot degrade it. It has been well documented at this point that my opponent exploits the political connections to jump the line. But like it's gonna be like, you know, she has grown up wealthy. She could have gone to things like and she had to this one had to survive. That would close that loophole. God this is gonna be Fair. It's not fair it's to begin a with. It's little strange to have a member of the political aristocracy lecture me about connections. Exactly. Tonight is the first time she's ever interviewed for a job. But she's right. I mean, that's My true. parents had friends who helped me get a lottery placement. My opponent has asked what happened to the person whose place I took. George, would you stand up, please? George Cantor was my first alternate. When I got my appointment at the regional government, I hired George to work with my policy research team. My second alternate was a woman named Lee Fan. She has become my top security consultant. My third alternate was Christoph Heimer. Sadly, he died of an overdose and never got off the rolls. 6,000 people fight for one slot. And we say anyone can make it. Any one of those 6,000, not two. Not ten. Certainly not everyone. We all know the system's broken. We all just want a chance. We aren't afraid to work hard. 
We aren't afraid to take risks, and with 1,300 new solar systems, we can provide that opportunity for everyone, not just the colonists, workers, and farmers and engineers. The people of Earth have talent and drive and ambition. What we need, what we deserve, is a government that gives us a chance. Security alert. Please come this way. That's fine. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Three hours ago, this ship went off its course. The transponder I gave her as a sign off out of Triton. In its path? It was heading towards Luna, but 20 minutes ago it shifted. It's on a collision course with Sentinel 19. The asteroid spot her. So why haven't they killed the ship already? Oh fuck, what? There are people on it. This is the sign off. We are experiencing a minor failure in our computer systems. This affected our comms and drive controls. We are working to correct it. We have children on board. This message was sent 10 minutes after it went off course. We haven't been able to raise them since. How long before we have to make a decision? If we kill it now, there's a 3% chance the debris field will compromise our strategic defenses. The longer we wait, the more that goes up. Maybe we blow up a ship full of innocent civilians who just called for help. The drive signature on record also matches a colony ship called the Sojourner. The one the Belter said was lost to scrap? Kill it. Destroy the ship immediately. Smart. I don't know why she's running. I will retire. Fuck this. I'm not making these other decisions. This supposed attack never should have happened in the first place. If we were supporting colony ships instead of stranding them out where they're easy prey for piracy, it wouldn't have. I didn't deserve to be saved. Naomi knows a thing or two about that. So I've been where you are right now. I don't think that you have. I was young and in love with a boy who had a crazy plan. I'd have reactor control programs. He had a way to insert them into inner ships. Then we could turn off the drive, leave them on the drift, rescue them for a price later. And it wouldn't look like piracy because they'd be so grateful that we saved them. The first one we tried was the Augustine Gamara. It was the one that blew up in the docks at Luna. Because the man I loved, the father of my child, used my code to overload the reactor. We killed 516 people. I didn't meant to do it again. You were tricked. I chose what I did. I chose not to see what kind of man my lover was until it was too late. Then when I told him I'd never help him again, it was the last time he let me see my little boy. I have a family now. Certainly not one I would have expected them and they love me and I have a life that I like living if you want to die I can't stop you but there is a path from where you are to where I am all we did was buy you a little time you decide what you want to do with it. I know there's already been bloodshed and both sides are Who's this here? anyone? I've got two of mine at gunpoint in that building right there. Get the fuck off our planet! Then we send your people back to your house! What did you do to an eye doctor you son of a bitch, huh? We never touched your damn kid! How would we know? You kill us for no reason! Oh, oh, I know no one wants to back down. I know why all of you came to this place and everyone feels like they have a reason to fight for it. You've been our legally binding charter from a legitimate government. Your government does not own every planet in the sky. But that's not why I'm here. As soon as the gate opened, I started being contacted by a man I knew who died on Eros. The proto molecule was somehow projecting him into my brain. Is this a smart... You're infected by the proto molecule? No, but I'm in contact with something. How? 
This person in your head that no one else can see told you that. I had a vision when I was inside the rape station. Oh, the ghost didn't tell you, but the vision did. I <laughs> see why Because anyone can claim to have prophetic visions, but that doesn't mean... Jack's been right about everything so far. That thing in his head is giving him answers. Oh, he's just a crazy person with a few lucky guesses. Fair. I believe whatever I'm in contact with is turning on all the old technology here to try and understand what happened to its creators, and I don't think it's going to stop. If we leave here, we can't go to some other system and find a lithium deposit like this. Maybe you did make it worse, but this place is our only hope. We're not giving it up. If you're in contact with it, why don't you just go? I have no reason to believe it'll stop once I'm gone. There is no version of this where we abandon our charter and we leave these squatters and murderers in possession of this plan. You are not seen by thieves, so you came here to steal everything we built. It's not happening. What? No, what? No. Ominous music. Milna, ominous oh music. Oh, don't fucking think of ending. It's a, it's end. It's a... Where he even started? <laughs> I think we always started the expense reviews where it fucking started. <laughs> Uh, a lot has happened in this episode, and honestly, this was uh, an amazing episode. So fucking good. Mm. Much like most of the episodes <laughs> of the show. I don't know which part we start with. I'm gonna just quickly mention that Bobby was in this episode. That is what it makes it not perfect, you know? <laughs> it's 9 out of 10, just so you know. But Because fine. of the absence. Exactly, mm. but fine. And let's continue with Christian story, let's say. Sure. What happened with Christian is exactly what we thought and we talked that is gonna happen. Honestly, immediately when the bit, when the debate started, I was like, I don't want to listen to it, like because I know it's gonna be bad at some point. Yeah. I didn't know it, if it was just gonna be good or even if it's gonna be bad for Christian. You know, like mm -hmm. this this girl is gonna because like when she started saying that this one um, had connections for Larry, and I was like. You were born into connections, girl. Exactly, like, like have you been rich? What, what what has happened in your... And I, I thought the girl is gonna attack in that direction. Which she did. Which she, of course, did. Because it's very... I mean, for Christian, love you, girl. But, like, it's very hypercritical to for her to speak on someone who has grown up... I mean, she mentioned the previous episode, one or the other, from rags to riches. So, like, she was never a part of any influential family or whatever... Um, so it's very hypocritical for Christian to be like, well, she skipped the line because she had connections, you know? Like, you she was... Skipped ten lines I mean, when you the... have never had lines in your life, girl. Exactly. Like, you the... can't really compare. And I feel like there is, from Christian, I'm sure there is some type of, you know, ignorance. Like, she has not grown up in such a way, which is why she thought that that answer, which, why she didn't even think that this is gonna... She couldn't, uh, yeah, she couldn't uh, foresee that this is going to be an answer, which was, like, very kind of obvious that it's, it was going to go there. But I think, you know, when you grow up in, in wealth, you can't, like, fully understand no, 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 yeah. the other side. Exactly. And which is why Christian, like, didn't think that this was going to be an answer, which is a very obvious one. And the girl was correct in everything. I she like, said something like... Uh, this is the first job interview that she has ever done in her entire life. Yeah. And this girl, God knows how many jobs. <laughs> yeah. Job I mean, she said, yes, I've skipped the line because, like, it's... But The, she... the lottery, the, the, it, like, it shouldn't fucking exist that, like, 6,000 of us fight for one job. Like, that yeah. it's so bad that, like, we have to do this. And she made sure that everyone she, that was supposed I to be in her place... I think she won with that answer, mm. honestly. Like, yeah. when she started... Uh, saying like uh, that she the, hired all those people the, she hired people that could have ended up instead of her you know like who were in second after her mm -hmm. and third she at least made sure that they had jobs because they she kind of took theirs you know yeah. uh, took their spot honestly she won with that answer and if I was on earth I think that would buy me as well maybe uh, yeah, I feel like if I was a citizen uh, on Earth, I would definitely, you know, lean more towards this girl who has seen both sides of things than to this, like, rich person yeah. <laughs> that has just always been at the top. Like, I love her and I think she is... What she is saying now in regards to, like, exploring the universe and whatever, 
Uh, I'm with Christian there. Me too, definitely. Because it is very dangerous. I just think uh, you um, have to... Um, you can't just take risks. Mm-hmm. You have to be uh, more prepared for what can the outcome be, you know? Yeah. Because, like, again, this girl is selling a story in a way. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sure she believes in it. And she is saying, you know, we should, we have a lot of uh, talented people on Earth. And, like, if they just had somewhere to, like, hone their skills. Not hone their skills, but, like, somewhere where their skills can be used and everything. That would solve a lot of issues of unemployment and everything. Like, if you could just go to explore other plants and everything. Like, that all makes sense and that's why i feel like when you say it like that everyone would like agree with you yeah but the consequences of those things you're not taking into account you what like if you're now in charge and you send let's say ten thousand people now to another uh another galaxy or solar system wherever we're going um and those people die what like it's on you uh, if those people bring back even worse things to yeah. your, you, like can, you, don't know you can the destroy the hum- humanity just like we were this close to doing with Prata Molecule. Yeah. So, like, I think the uh, They are just measures... not aware of the potential consequences of the actions that they want to take. Yeah, and, and Christian then... is more aware of it. Exactly, because she already dealt with Prata Molecule. Yeah, yeah. I think when, like, the girl uh, and her husband were trying to prepare her for the interview mm-hmm. and stuff like that and things they said uh, like you have to be more approachable I mean that is not who Christian is no she is but not. like I think that public would uh, always vote wo- for the person that like they can um, relate to in some way mm-hmm. you know so I think that's what this girl has much more like uh, coming for, from poverty, is that yeah, it? poverty, yeah. So like I think that's also like main reason why uh, she can because she can understand them better. She can uh, fight for yeah. the things that Christian doesn't even maybe know in her head that yeah. are a problem because she never felt them on her skin. Yeah, and again, I think everyone from Earth would think the same thing about the universe and the exploration. And, like, they would want to do it. So, like, I think... I would assume that Christian is in a losing battle for the election, honestly. Because I, I would see why, why more people would lean towards Gao, Nancy. Maybe Nancy, actually. Maybe. I, I definitely agree. I don't know what's going to happen with Christian, what her storyline is going to be after that. But, like, mm-hmm. I definitely... It definitely does seem to me, like, uh, she is losing this uh, fight. At least at this point. point. Like, what? Yeah. I don't know what has... Uh, a really big major thing and big major um, saving mm-hmm. has to happen from her mm-hmm. before the election for her I to win I think uh, what could potentially happen but I, like, I don't want it to happen is now if the belters stay on the planet and that thing kills them you have a lot of people that have died on that other planet then people are going to be more afraid to go and explore anywhere because like here there people have went and they have died you know mm-hmm. so i think that could be a thing that then pushes people towards christian more because she's more careful about it you know mm-hmm. i feel like if they witness a tragedy they'll be more fearful of going and doing something like that so like maybe that is a thing that that that, that is going to happen i don't know we'll have to see and then to finish off with christian there was that scene here at the end when she was taken uh from the from the debate because there was a security risk of um ship that was like approaching them and the ship that sent out a message that like it's full of civilians and children and they are just like something on the lines of like you we have you know lost control we are gaining control back or whatever don't shoot please which like you don't know what the fuck <laughs> you don't have to believe that and they have said that they are some parts of them of the ship come from the ship that was killed by Marco that got destroyed yeah, that we saw the exactly. bodies floating yeah, from okay. and like Marco did say that they like sold off some parts some parts whatever have not so like you really like we don't know I don't know if that ship was full of children I don't know if that ship was just if they were lying we don't know like no one knows and Christian doesn't know but she had to make the decision to uh, shoot it down either way if, if I was Christian and someone came back to me then and said like oh actually that ship was like a civilian ship with children. I'm fucking retiring. Never ask me to do to make any choice again. I mean, that's why you're not you're not exactly, running for the... exactly. That's why I would never be able to yeah. do any exactly. anything here. 
I just know I'm not I'm not cut out for this. This would break me. But uh, in this moment, honestly, I I can't say I don't think the right cho- uh, that she didn't make the the right choice. I mean, I think she made the only choice that she, that she could have had in that yeah. moment. Uh, that saving more lives that, than killing. Yeah. Uh, at least that's how I see it from the information that we got that she got. I know that like a lot of parts are from the. I saw in ship that like OPA did still, mm-hmm. and there is so so there is a big reason to believe why the, uh, the that the OPA is the one who is sending that to the earth. Yeah, it's uh it, it is good enough for her in my opinion. Yeah, I mean I knew that she was gonna make that yeah, choice yeah, like yeah. immediately when it happened, and now that also kind of sort of goes into mm, uh, favor of Nancy. Yeah, <laughs> so like there's that like Christian is really not you know, in the best position now, but, like, again, some tragedy, unfortunately, might now, might now happen. I mean, it is gonna happen. We saw it at the end, like, the planet. It fucking... Something started. And, like, the only question for me is, are we all gonna evacuate? And, like, even if they do all evacuate, like, you still, you know, there has been a risk on the planet. So, like, even if you just say, say that, like, they could have died if they didn't evacuate... People would also be a bit more cautious. I, I, guess. I, I yes, they would, but like for uh, let's say belters mm-hmm. who really do not have anything to lose in their yeah. minds, it's a risk that is good enough. I think I also now for like this thing that has appeared, the belters, if they hear it, see it, they're all getting, they're all gonna get on the fucking ship. Yeah. You have nowhere to go because at that point, your option is certain death, or like just you don't know what I to do. Agree. But like you don't choose certain death, you know? I I, but, but, like, they don't know um, I, I, for sure that it's going to be yeah. certain death. So, like, that's why they're yeah. not leaving now. But I was uh, just saying for the belters on, like, let's say, somewhere yeah, yeah. in the system, in the belt, yeah, you know, yeah. like, if they hear her hear that, where on the earth, maybe they won't uh, want to go. Yeah, but, like, belters No matter what, nothing, but yeah. belters have nothing. They would want to explore another yeah. planet to try to, even though they know this one was... Uh, yeah. Not livable. Yeah. If it ends up being not livable, hundred percent, you know. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen with Proto Molecule, honestly. I mean, but so I mean, far, at this point, it uh, seems like that it's uh, taking this planet with it. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see. It doesn't have to be. I have no idea. Honestly. Maybe now Miller appears. Like Please don't. We, before... Please fucking don't. Miller, I have never want to see your face less. Honestly, just don't come Get to away James from anymore. Me. Look at him. He's totally lost. Everybody looks at him. <laughs> Like, he's insane. Yeah. And yet, he's the only sane one here, you know? Yeah. I mean, I guess to go to the camp or whatever and to go with uh, Mortry, Mortry, and the rest of them, not much has uh, changed. We have learned, uh, like, the full details of what happened that day. They, like, wanted to blow up their landing gear before they came, but they arrived 10 hours early. The girl... I don't know her name, really. Wanted to stop it from happening because, like, she didn't want to kill these people. And the guys that she was with, three of them, I think, or whatever, were like, no, let it be. This is great, you know, because, like, these people are coming. Let's kill them. They're our enemy, whatever. She got knocked down. But, like, she managed to wake up and, like, blow the thing up before they landed on it, which, like, saved some of their lives. They would all die. They would have all died if... How the fuck did it, did it decide to save Mertry's life? How the fuck did she manage to do that? Well, because, like, you know, life is cruel. <laughs> and we also need to have someone like Mertry, <laughs> who is very... Just, like, very cold. Honestly. He is also very unaware of himself. He is not a good guy. Like, he is not a good guy, but I also say that for, like, Amos. He never presents himself as such. You know? He never goes and... He tells for himself, like... I'm not the good guy here, but, like, I try to follow people who are gonna make the right decisions, and so I, like, I go with them. Because, like, if I made decisions for myself, like, I don't know, but, like, he's trying to make decisions for himself more now, whatever. He is much better than he, where he he's, was. Yeah, much better, he's much better. He's progressing he's as a person. So much. Uh, the thing with Mort, 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 Mortuary is he is so convinced in what he is doing is uh, correct. Because he has justifications for it. And, like, all those things stand. All those things have happened. They have attacked you first. I can't argue that. You have been attacked first. You have right to, let's say, retaliate in some manner. You do not have the right to start acting as judge during executioner. You just don't. I agree with everything James said in this episode. Mm -hmm. 
from the uh, like I I love that he also had doubts at Belters as well mm-hmm. in my opinion but I loved everything that he told to Mercury uh, during the episode mm-hmm. like how he's uh, using all of this just as an excuse mm-hmm. to be able to kill people mm-hmm. uh, to be jury judge and executioner mm-hmm. And um, so, yeah, I just, like, everything I thought, he said it, mm-hmm. honestly. But I do, did love at the end that, like, he also was like, I know what the fuck do I do. Uh, I know what the fuck do I do, like... Um, well, it's a complicated situation. Like, they did take... I don't know what the fuck they are they doing. They did take the, yeah. the hostages who maybe did nothing, you know? Like, I mean, technically. Well, I mean, look, honestly, when I see fucking guys, those guys, like, they're walking around the camp with guns, like... Acting like some authority. Who gave you authority? Why the fuck are you acting like belters are supposed to bow down to you? Who the fuck are you? Like, you just came there with guns. And that gives you some type of authority because you just have guns. You know? It's like you're gonna shoot. Uh, Doesn't mean you are the fucking authority. Uh, And they act like it. Like, Mercury acts like they should all, like, bow down to them. And if they don't... Then they're just like the bad guys and they have to be taken out. Who gave you the fucking right to be that? It's a complicated thing because there's no type of democracy or anything. Like people just came to the planet. There's no laws. There's nothing. Yeah, it's And so like honestly. it is the wild, wild west. And like m- maybe it is true that the people who have the most power are going to be the people who rule or whatever. But they're going to fucking annoy me. Like it's not fair. It's not right. You came there with guns. You came there to take the fucking things that the people found before you, that came before you. It boils my blood. And again, it has everything to do with the fact that I they represent belters and inners yeah. for me. Like, it's just a whole constant thing that always happens. Like, it's not, it's not just an isolated situation of two groups of people for me. I can't view it as such because it's not to me. It's very much to me how the system works against the belters who always end up with the short end of the stick. Mercury, because of that, gives himself the right to talk about belters as a whole um, in such a way. And every time he speaks about them, you just see that he is very... um, that he looks down upon them. And that's why he does these things that he does. All of his actions, let's say, I mean, everything that's triggered or whatever him is justified. It happened. They attacked you first. I get it. I understand. I um, honestly right now would like if Belters didn't attack him first. Because then I would have completely every right to shit on him because he would behave the same. Mm-hmm. Like in my eyes, I don't think, I don't believe that anything would change. Mm-hmm. He would behave the same. He would be the one, he would pretend like he is the authority. He is the one who is in charge. And if Belters stood up in that moment, he would do the same. But no, but the I thing do is... believe that like for him, as a person has not and James said that uh, as well mm-hmm. in this episode mm-hmm. uh, it has nothing to do with the people they uh, they work it was he angry yes does that give him the right to murder innocent people not, not innocent, to, to, but like, to murder cold-blooded murder yeah. people no and James uh, said even to him yeah. like I'm taking all of you to um, trial to and trial. I'm like fuck yes let's do that everyone go oh my god <laughs> Love I you, would James. love that uh, but so no, much. But you know what's like ironic? Uh, like he comes, Mortry or whatever, and he's like, they kidnapped two of my people. And so like they have done this wrong thing and uh, they're in the wrong and they have to, we have to take them down. But like the people they have kidnapped are walking around camp with guns being ready to shoot anyone. And the reason why Belter is doing the wrong thing is, is like, because those people with guns like have authority on whose behalf. So, like, how exactly are the belters at fault for that? Now you're on the same page. Like, you just think that the belters are wrong because you think you have the authority. Like, you are walking around the camp with guns ready to shoot anyone. And then the belters just, like, kidnapped someone to take the guns. You're all on the same page, if you ask me. Honestly, it just pisses me off so badly. I, like, I can't. I, mean, I really uh, can't uh, When it. James w- was walking with the gun and opened the, the curtain or whatever, and you see scared uh, people and children. I don't there. Do it. I can't. What the fuck? Mm-mm. Nothing it's, has changed. It, it, it's <laughs> basically nothing has changed. I don't respect them. I don't like them. Again, to reiterate, because I know the comments are coming. I understand. I don't think Believe the comments me, are coming. I don't know. I mean, look, we I have not posted the episode, came. but like, I know, I know the type of YouTube comments that we get. Like, I feel like people are gonna. There's gonna be multiple comments. It's gonna be, in the lines of he was back first. He was. He was not denying that. 
not denying that at all still doesn't give them the right to... I mean, to... those people who did attack him, mm-hmm. I do believe... I mean, I, I, I can't say I do, uh, they deserve to die, but, mm-hmm. like, I do believe they deserve to go to jail yeah. for the rest of I their mean, lives. I mean, like, it's a thing where, like, they have died and they have done this thing and, like, I've saw, seen him in the beginning do this thing. So I'm like, I don't feel much sympathy for you. Uh, what sympathy? Uh, like I they feel, have killed I feel people. Like sympathy. I don't feel any sympathy for you. You shouldn't have like exactly. I mean, it makes gotten me, this death or whatever. It makes me angry for uh, Mercury that he was the one who decided. Like that whole thing just makes me angry at him because he's the one who decided to just kill them. Mm-hmm. But like, if he didn't kill them, mm-hmm. I would want the same uh, fate for them as for him. Mm-hmm. I would want them in jail. For the rest of their lives, yeah. as they should be. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I understand uh, why they wanted to... Why the girl wanted to stop them from taking lithium or whatever. Yeah. I understand why they wanted to uh, make them unable to go back. Or stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I do understand why they were uh, scared enough to want to stop them in any way possible. But, but to... Uh, murder people uh, they knew that they were they wanted to murder uh, the, to uh, kill the whole ship mm-hmm. they were planning to do that like yeah. if it wasn't for the girl they would probably kill the, all, all of them mm-hmm. and I do believe they deserve to go to jail for the rest of their lives yeah. uh, for that yeah and the second type of comment they promised we're gonna see is people being like how do you defend uh, Amos but not defend Mercury? I don't think I don't think any uh, I can uh, for 100% tell you that, that that comment is not coming because Amos <laughs> is one of the most loved characters and everybody loves him no 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 they're not saying that as in like to shit on Amos they love Amos but they also are like let's 100%. say like more and there they're, is no way. they're gonna nobody's be like, gonna like hypercritical nobody loves him well look, people let's see because I promise <laughs> you no, not, not all of you listen to the review we all know <laughs> yeah. this a very small amount of listen to the review go to the fucking comments I promise you it's gonna be a thing it's gonna be there's gonna be a, maybe like in this episode or the previous one or whatever because like it's a whole yeah. we were saying the same thing basically yeah. but it's gonna be in here or the previous one whatever it's gonna be that but like I think when we talk about it but to me they, they're very two different people like this one thinks is the right Amos never claims to doesn't doesn't call himself a good guy again I mean he kills people shouldn't fucking kill people boy but like it's a way he functions the way that he grew up it's a thing that he just like thinks needs to be done he takes no pleasure in it he takes no pain in it this one takes pleasure in it this one takes pleasure in it and he thinks he's right so like no those two things aren't comparable to me they're comparable if you only want to look at it surface level two people that kill people that are killers like to me that's different honestly that comparison if... to me would be ridiculous well, I agree, but I promise you it's coming. I, uh, I promise you it's coming. You can call me a hypocrite for it. In my mind, it's different. If in your mind it's not, oh well. To me, it's very different. Yeah. Uh, we also had the scenes with the uh, girl. I don't know and, her name, the medic. And Naomi. That was such a good scene. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, everything Naomi said in this episode was beautiful, stunning, the best. Like, at first she had this conversation with Holden. I mean, we didn't even finish this fucking thing with Camp, but, like, let's connect it. Because, like, the Holden was um, talking about how he can't get the people, the Belters, off of this planet. Because the Belters don't want to go. This is, like, they came here finally. Like, they have lost their homes. Um, and they have come here and they want to build a new life here. And now people have come here and telling them, you need to go. Like, I wouldn't trust anything they say. I wouldn't trust any of the inners. Um, and like it's very it's expected and I only told them like basically you can't make the decision for them because you cannot um, mm. and and the only thing you can do is be honest with them tell them exactly what's going on and then just like let them make the decision the other plan and like I can't even say anything but like the other plan was like basically to gas them and like take them up to space so like you um, force them to live. I understand why uh, James would want that because he feel he would feel guilt because he's yeah. the one who came here, activated this thing. Yeah. They Absolutely. would maybe live happily ever after, maybe yeah. not. But like he is the one who's stopping them. So like he uh, he told her like um, if they die, it's on me. And I love that she told him no, it's not on you. Like yes, one part of it it's on you, but like also, also it's on Christian who sent you, and it's on the people who built proto molecule, and it's on the who did this and that it just goes uh, it just goes uh, back so much mm-hmm. uh, that it can't just be on you 
they are the ones who decide if they want to uh, believe you after you tell them the truth or not. And so, like, it's on them as well. And I love that. I agree with that completely. Yeah. And after that, that, uh, she basically uh, saved the girl who wanted to die, which I would understand. Honestly, when the husband told her what he told her, I was like, how the fuck in this moment? Like, this is going to take such a tool on her. She already feels horrible for what she did, you know? Even though I uh, forgave her completely Mm -hmm. uh, after I saw uh, which part of the uh, guilt fault was on her. Because even yesterday, yesterday, I mean, the last episode when we uh, filmed it. Which was yesterday. Which was yesterday. uh, I, uh, I said, how the fuck do you not know? Like, how the fuck do you not know if you can possibly kill somebody by shooting down their fucking ship, mm-hmm. you know? Like, mm-hmm. you have to know something. You're not, you're not that clueless, but she didn't want to do that, actually. Yeah. Like, she wanted to do... She wanted to go with the first plan, but, like, then people decided to change it, you know? Yeah. Because this one came earlier yeah. or whatever. I mean, her husband at that point was kind of very, you oh, know... Hurt. I completely understood Their him. daughter is, like, missing. Yeah. And also, like, everything that he said, I can't really argue anything that he said, yeah. was not maybe the moment to tell her because she is bleeding out. Um, I mean, especially the last part. Yeah. Like, yeah, but like, you know, everything that he said kind of stands. You know, uh, but honestly, even in that moment, like, I mean, I know it's not true. Like, I know Mortri didn't take her uh, kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even in that moment, what Mortri was saying, like, I'm going to come for your family. Mm-hmm. And uh, Naomi was like, oh, he's bluffing. I was mm-hmm. like, what? Mm-hmm. What do you mean he's bluffing? He just mm-hmm. killed five people on the in the camp. Yeah. But, like if he if somebody told that to me, I would jump. I'd be like, hi here, hello, hello, just don't touch them. Yeah. You know, I'm the one who is uh, at fault here. Yeah. I'm the one who did what they what she did. I mean, she did that. Did. Exactly. But Naomi stopped her. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I love that Naomi like told her how uh, because like the girl was really the medic was really down on herself. I mean, she was ready to die. Because she feels a lot of guilt for the things that she has done. And then, you know, here comes Naomi, uh, who yeah. can very much relate, who was in the same position, exactly the same position. who was um, a part of killing even more people. More I mean, killing is killing, you know, like, people. if you kill two, like, 50, 12, 200, whatever, you have killed people, it's bad. Yes, but it's worse if it's I mean, 500 yes, people. Yes, but, like, I, like, I would feel guilty Honest, how I much agree, it was, I agree, but you know? honestly, when, when she said the number... That's I like, was fucking shocked. Like, like I don't, I know killing is healing, but like I expected thirty. Yeah. I did not expect five hundred people. Yeah, yeah. I was shocked, um, honestly. And like she told her, she told her what what her mistakes were. Like she didn't plan on killing those people. That was never her idea. But her boyfriend used it to kill people, and like it's her, it's on her that she didn't know the type of guy that she is with, um, and the type of guy that like. Is gonna use her knowledge in such a way like she uh, carries guilt uh from that but she has been able to live with it and she said now i have a family that's like a different family but i love them very much and i'm happy and like you deserve to have that as well and you can you can be happy she basically afterwards. Told her, like even yeah. with what you have done and i honestly think like like she has done this again not intentional she never meant for this to happen but uh, and I understand the guilt part, but I just think you're so much more valuable while you're alive. Like you can do so much good. You're yeah. so capable, and like the best thing you can do is give back every day by helping people. Focus your energy on the good. Um, I think the girl will do that. Honestly, yeah, I think I, this I was really done. And this was uh, after everything. She survived at that point. I think it's natural, maybe that like things progressed in that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially after finding out that like her daughter is missing and not only did he kill her, she is uh, a reason why so many people died um, but like also that like maybe something happened to her daughter as well yeah, yeah. Uh, and that she destroyed her family and her husband even told her like uh, all those bad things uh, you did uh, you didn't it didn't help us it just destroyed yeah. us I mean, something like that we now have nothing yeah. Uh, at least on Ganymede or wherever we had our family, and yeah. that was the only important thing. So honestly, at that point, yeah. I, uh, I knew where it was coming immediately, like yeah. when they um, finished the call. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do like I think she is gonna now, like when Naomi gave her the second chance, mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, she said she told her like there is only one step between where you are and where I am yeah. and you can get to it so I wanted to just give you another chance to maybe uh, maybe to try it. to get to it yeah and I think the, the girl will especially yeah definitely I mean we have yet to see what's gonna happen now with people on the planet because now we saw it at the end <laughs> what the fuck that it, it, I mean it started happening it started happening yeah. I don't know how close it is to our settlement I don't know if they can hear it if they can listen to it and be like, oh shit, it's really coming. We have to get away. But like also Morshi, like didn't he say there are like two ships, whatever, that can like escape? And he said for the one to... Be a bomb, basically. Yeah, to do something to it, to make it a bomb that if they wanted to, they could blow it up. An amazing episode. As you see, honestly, I really enjoy, I'm really enjoying season four I love how so said, far. I but... love how you said, like, like a surprising thing. Well, I'm, well, honestly, honestly, I'm enjoying it. Uh, well, actually, I've read many comments that, like, it's... Uh, because it's after season three. Oh, that so, it's mm. uh, nobody's favorite season. That is oh. everybody's least favorite season. I'm enjoying I, it so far. I love it. Me too. Everything is so good. And everybody says... Uh, it's very A lot of comments yeah. I read that it's, like, the fifth one is the better than the fourth one. Mm-hmm. So... I mean, great. Exactly. I love who continues to go better. Love that. <laughs> uh, but this season so far has been great to me. I'm interested in every storyline. Yeah. I, I love all the characters. Some more than the other. I have to say that. Some I love more than the other. But the other I also love, you know? We know. <laughs> Just like we John's know. want to point out that no matter, like, there is 10 people listening to this, you know? Maybe 50. Top. Maybe 50. You know? 50? I don't know if we're pushing it. I don't think so. I I, I watched the statistics. <laughs> I love it. We like always talk. It's, we have been talking for forty minutes in the mm. review. We talk with fifty people. <laughs> yeah, imagine. That's what I want to say. Just shut the fuck up. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for, thank watching. for watching. Thank we'll you for s- listening. Thank you. Okay. Whoever thank listen- you for coming to the end with us. <laughs> if you I did, love you. leave a comment. <laughs> well, to let us know that you listen until the very end. No, when someone just like skip the very end. Shut then, like, up now when no comments come. Like, you know. Well, exactly. But then I'm not gonna talk anymore. <laughs> we just like make it a, f- a five. Second review, great episode. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Unfortunately, we like talking too much. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.